That is why she's a bit six feet tall right there, Slunky. Look at the heels on those shoes. And no, imagine... she, those are not high heels. Those are elevated boots. No. I've seen them before. However, the heels on the back I bet are exceptional. Probably gives her a clear six inches. It never takes me any less than three hours to do my makeup. I've seen at least one person wear elevated boots in school. You have? Yes. I'm not kidding, I actually am. Was it you so you could be about five feet? No. Also, I'm already about five and a half feet. You know, back when five and a half feet was a big deal, guys. So, her- And what about back when six feet was a big deal, Sue, huh? I am about six feet. I can't see if the top of my head was uh, cut off, but I am about six feet, friends. I'm from Scotland. Anyone above five foot and one half inch is about six feet. So I'm about six feet. Look at those baby arms on her. <laughs> like she's like, it t doesn't take me less than three hours to do my makeup, and I'm like, how many minutes does it take to get the baby arm from your head? Because, you know, like, see if that's about a four minute job. I would wear baby arm, arm, not baby arms. Gosh, we don't harm any babies on our channel. No, we don't. I, we would wear baby arms, which I assume were cut off a baby. <laughs> Six hours. I woke up at 1 a.m. today. The longest that I've spent on a look is about nine hours. Yikes. <laughs> you know what you could do? See if it takes you nine hours to get ready. You could just have a job. You could turn up without makeup or with a little bit of makeup or lots of makeup. Just have a new job. My mum's coming over to see me today. We're quite different people. We express ourselves in very different ways. My journey towards kind of self-discovery was quite private and personal, but my mum really helped by letting me get on with it and letting me express myself however I wanted. Longy, if you ever want to express yourself as a gender-fluid demon doll... I'm not. Hey, I'm not. that doesn't mean you shouldn't express yourself as one. Why? I mean, I, I mean I'm not sure why. Like, that's one of the questions we're answering in this video, is for education purposes only. It, sure. um, within reason. I think sometimes she's... I say that pause every time I notice the baby arms, like... Gosh, just get the horns. Demons have horns. No, we where... have baby arms. I it's the new trend in the demon world. said I was not an expert on gender fluidity. I'm not. I am an expert on horns. What's happened? But taken aback <laughs> by my choices. I've had Is that more black teeth? Um, sometimes minor physical attacks. People like trying to follow me home and stuff like that. Then don't dress like a demon doll. You're attracting people that wish to be around demon dolls. Or oh, if, if you your door them. open, and then people come in and say you're not welcome here. But then if you dress differently, maybe somewhat oddly, in my opinion, then What's don't be surprised when you're when the people you're, that are attracted to you are We only have one of them, and it's right there. We have lots of microphones, but we're only using one. I use fashion as kind of a, a coping mechanism and, and makeup. I feel so much more confident when I'm when I'm in a look. And most of my interactions with I think she, I think she really does a great job on making her look like a, a look creature. Awesome, I look right? a bit scary yes. sometimes, and I have like a scary stage persona, but in person, I'm quite gentle and harmless. So sluggy. This looks harmless to me. You're walking home. Like, you never have to walk anywhere. But say you're walking home. You have to take a right down an alley. And, a dark uh, alley on Coconut Street. Yeah. Coconut Street is one of the worst streets for dark alleys, in my opinion. Mainly because there's creepy guys selling But you meet this face. You meet this face. You meet this face, right? You meet this person, right? And you, Right. Are you going to go, I wish I didn't take a shortcut down this alleyway. Are you going to say, my goodness, your moustache appears to go up the way rather than down the way? Can you say, both your eyes are different colours. Can you give me directions to the end of the alleyway? Like, goodness, don't be so silly to think that people who fit in with normal stuff 
are going to treat you like you're different, right? I mean, they're, they're going to treat you like This looks totally different. normal to me. Hiya! <laughs> Hi, Mom. Got your best uh, leopard skin coat on. Glad we're in the same situation. I was wrong. Going out in public, I need to pay attention more. Paula called her child Vlad. 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 Like Vlad V. It's sort of like Vlad the Impaler, like Dracula. Yes. I'm thinking that's why she called him like, yeah, I got impaled once. He came in. Yes. Yes, I do. Only because I think some people um, can be very rude for no reason. You have almost fought loads of people. <laughs> uh, yes, I have. And I will. <laughs> I still would. <laughs> I still would if I needed to. Because my job is to protect you. I love the fact that... I love the fact that her mother is pretending that she wants to protect her daughter. No, she's not pretending. It is absolutely what she believes. However, her daughter felt like other people were being mean to her. So, does that mean the, the parent messed up? The bully messed up? The, it, so it seems like silliness to me. A different, you, you never want it to be the same as anybody. You've got your own unique take on things. I'm very proud, very proud of you. And I wouldn't want you Best other demon way. doll kid I ever had. <laughs> Look like that shy. <laughs> Try not to stab you in my horn. <laughs> so Sloggy, imagine we, we, and I, we hadn't hung out for a while. We have this meet and greet because of uh, whatever TV show is. And then you had decided you were going to be uh, whatever it is, demon doll, right? Gender fluid demon doll. Right. You Imagine that. Like We're going to be on camera for the first time hanging out. And then you appear like this versus the there's it's over here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Imagine that wouldn't that be so wonderfully awkward? I was not quite listening, but I think you said something about the demon doll. Oh, oh I swear to goodness, really Sophie, if you're only listening one thing. And tattoos. I really want to get a teddy bear pulling his guts out on my thigh, and I really, really desperately want my tongue split. Ugh. I do not want my tongue split. This, this, this is bizarre to me, like... Okay, I was perfectly... I'll, I can do this perfectly normal until it comes to splitting your tongue. How many demon dolls are in your school? No. That you think this is perfectly normal? None, but I consider a lot of things perfectly normal. I'm hard to disturb. Yeah, I was going to disturb you, but then we're recording, and so I was... Try here. to disturb me. Let me tell you how I met your mother. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> a friend in Tristan's. Gosh. I oh, that hey, Bernie with... Timbers. Hey, hey, back when I was... Back when I was your age, if someone told me my parents met because someone introduced them, I'd be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe someone introduced you. <laughs> I think my aesthetic will keep growing and evolving. Okay, I'm hoping she gets, like, a proper, like, right here baby arm, like, from her forehead. You know, like, because I'm from Scotland, our national animal is the unicorn. And she'd be like, she'd be like a triceratops, which is three times better than a unicorn. Can we confirm that, Slongy? I don't know, Gammer. No, Slongy, when I say, can we confirm this, it's something I'm passionate about. And then you should just go, yeah, we love a unicorn. Yeah, we'd love a triceratops. I mean, the triceratops. We'd make that person our emperor. Triceracorn. Much corn. So it's long. I thought the the demon girl story was interesting. That it intrigues me in many many ways. Like I, I have never experienced how the girl was bullied. Right, never experienced it. Never have. But uh, it's kind of weird. When I say weird, it's not a derogatory term. It just means unusual. Right? It's like, like Slongy said, there's no demon do dolls in his school. I still consider it perfectly normal. And until because, today, yeah. I only met our first demon doll, right? Where? Who? I mean, I I'm not sure where the second I mean, demon doll movie quite, comes out I later. Mean, Liam's not quite a demon doll, but come on. I mean, he's a level 73 T-Rex guy. <laughs> Lower 8th ring of hell. Demon. Right? Maybe. I think so. I think it may be lower 7th. Lower 7th? Lower 8th? 
I would say so. Does that mean closer to the level above? You know, I'm thinking sluggy. Is I think we use the the uh, the picture in the top left because the the uh, the uh, thumbnail because those boobs and stuff. You like know that. we're still recording, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. We should use that. Like yeah, I did yeah we're the, not doing that. It, we, we're not. What, yeah, because that's clickbait. Kind of. Does clickbait work? Yes, it does. But it's not. But it's not honest, and you like honesty, don't you? Yeah, but they like it more than boobs in a thumbnail. Yes. Oh, yes, I did. That's right. Indeed, it does. So, so what, what, what do we tell, tell, what do we tell the, the fans end? at the end? Well, I answer that myself. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, and goodbye, everybody, and Polar Squatch. Goodbye.